Hold up. Google just changed everything again. Google just dropped Gemini 3, and it launched a bunch of insane new AI tools. And most people have no idea they even exist. Today, I'm going to walk you through the five most powerful ones you can use right now, including features that rolled out with Gemini 3, and they're honestly shocking for a free plan. And just so you know, I'm not using anything paid. Here's my Gemini dashboard. Top right, it still says Upgrade. If I click it, it tries to charge me for Google AI Pro. So yes, everything in this video is 100% free. Let's jump in. You're watching What's Next AI. All right, let's start with the first free tool, Opal. Just head to opal.google and you'll see a clean editor where you can build apps using plain English. Here's one of the examples. And yeah, this workflow diagram looks complex, but don't worry. You never have to build any of this manually unless you want to. Opal generates everything for you. So let's build a brand new one from scratch. I'll click Create New, then type in my prompt. And yes, this one prompt is all you need. For this demo, I'm building a meditation app that asks the user their stress level and then generates a personalized guided session with a calming background, breathing guide, and sound controls. I hit Run and Opal starts generating the entire workflow, from the user input, to the antidote emotion logic, to the background visuals, meditation script, background sound, and finally the full interactive page. You can click each block to see the detailed prompt being used under the hood. For visual generation, you can choose different models such as Nano Banana, Imagen, and more. It does take a few minutes to build everything, but once it's done, you get this complete step-by-step -step app structure. Now let's try it. The app starts with asking, what is weighing on your mind right now? I'll type angry. Opal processes that, figures out the antidote emotion. In this case, calm generates a cinematic nature background, creates a guided breathing script, and builds the entire web interface automatically. It's okay to feel angry right now. Let's find a comfortable position, whether you're sitting or lying down, allowing your body to settle. You get a clean glass morphism breathing card, a smooth inhale-exhale animation, and full controls to start, pause, and adjust the volumes for both the meditation voice and the background sound. Everything is completely interactive, and all of it was built from a single prompt. And when you're ready to share it, you can publish the app instantly and send the link to anyone. That's Opal, basically a full no-code builder powered by Gemini. And yes, still completely free. So the second tool is inside Google AI Studio. Just go to aistudio.google.com and you'll see Google's full suite of AI tools all in one place. One of the newest features here is the Build tab. This lets you generate full applications just by describing what you want in plain English. For this demo, I'm using the mock-up generator app I built in my previous video. The link is in the description if you want to watch that breakdown. And you can also find the five full prompts there and try them yourself for free. Now back to the app building. First, type the mock-up generator prompt into the build box. Then hit build. Gemini handles all the coding automatically. And after a few minutes, you'll have a fully working mock-up generator you can start using. Here's the app. You upload one artwork file, such as a logo. Choose the products, mugs, shirts, hoodies, tote bags, phone cases, bottles, and so on. Then choose the scene style, and Gemini generates high-quality mock-ups with realistic lighting, shadows, and material curvature in a minute. So here's the difference between this and Opal. If you just want to build mini tools to share with friends, Opal is perfect. But if you're building something you want full control over and potentially want to monetize, then Google AI Studio's build function is the one you want. And again, everything here works on the free Gemini 3 tier. Next up is Pameli, a brand new tool from Google Labs. And this one is all about branding and social media content. Here's how it works. You paste in the URL of your website. So let me try my favorite Japanese snacks website here. Pameli scans the entire page, your colors, fonts, layout, and tone of voice, and turns all of that into your brand DNA. When it's done, it shows you everything it captured, your brand colors, typography, tagline, and voice style. You can tweak anything you want, 
And once you're happy, click Looks Good. And now Pameli is ready to generate your campaigns. So I tried Christmas Gift, and Pameli instantly produced a full set of social posts with different angles and messaging. Each campaign includes images, captions, and layouts that match your brand identity. You can open any campaign, preview every asset, and edit everything directly inside the tool. Text, images, tone, all of it. So if you're busy and just need quick on-brand social posts fast, Pameli gives you solid ready-made assets in seconds without paying expensive fees for an agency or designer. Tool number four is an update to Notebook LM. This is honestly one of the best free tools Google has ever made for research. You can create notebooks on any topic, upload your sources, and Notebook LM will analyze everything for you. For this demo, I created a notebook for my UK ghost tour trip, including haunted locations, travel websites, booking info, and YouTube videos. On the left, you can add websites, PDFs, notes, and YouTube links, and Notebook LM turns it all into a clean, searchable research hub. But the part most people miss is custom instructions. If you click Configure Chat, you can tell Notebook LM exactly how to use your sources. Here's the instruction I added for my ghost tour. Put most of the emphasis on the YouTube video, 20 most haunted places in the UK for the main destinations, and use the other sources for tour options, pricing, and city details. The goal is to help plan a multi-city UK ghost tour trip, click save, and from that point on, every summary, recommendation, and answer follows these rules. Now let's look at the new update, Video Overview. We've had audio overviews before, but now Notebook LM can create a short AI-generated video summarizing your research automatically. This usually takes a few minutes to generate, and once it's ready, you can watch a full AI-narrated explainer built entirely from your sources. Here's the result. Welcome to The Explainer. So today, we are heading to the United Kingdom, a place just absolutely steeped in history and, you know, mystery. Our first stop has to be a city that once held the title for the most haunted in all of Europe. Wow, this is pretty awesome. Everything, the script, the visuals, the structure, was created by Notebook LM based purely on the sources I uploaded. So if you're researching a project, a topic for school, or a business presentation, Notebook LM makes organizing everything ridiculously easy and surprisingly fun. For tool number five, we're heading back into Google AI Studio, but this time we're clicking the Playground tab. Google recently added a new text-to-speech model, and the quality is way better than you'd expect from a free tool. Let me show you how it works. I'll select Gemini 2.5 Pro Preview, TTS, and that opens the script builder. Here, you can write anything you want, and even add multiple speakers with completely different voices. First, I'll type the dialogue for each speaker in these boxes. Then I'll give it a style instruction, something like, read aloud in the appropriate emotion for each speaker. Next, on the right side, you can choose the voices for each speaker. There are plenty of preset voices to pick from, and each one has its own tone, pacing, and personality. Once everything looks good, click Run. It only takes a few seconds, and then you can play back the result. You left the car where? This is a disaster. I told you exactly what would happen. Breathe. The universe is simply adjusting the furniture. Find your center. If you're happy with it, click the three dots to download the audio and use it in any project. And if the take isn't perfect, just hit run again and regenerate another version. Considering how many platforms charge monthly fees for high quality TTS, it's impressive that Gemini 3 offers this level of quality for free. And that wraps up the five tools you can start using right now. All completely free on the Gemini 3. Each one unlocks something totally different, from no-code apps, to brand campaigns, to research videos, to high-quality TTS, all without paying for extra software. If you found this helpful, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and drop a comment telling me which tool you want me to test next. This is What's Next AI. See you in the next one.